exactly what I need to just smoke my morning. Just perfect. Obviously, got it on my laptop too. <laughs> Gosh. lunch at my desk but I don't really like to do because over my lunch break I actually had to run an errand and it ended up going for longer than I thought it would so now I actually have to eat and work which is not the end of the world but yeah I'm just having some of the soup that I made yesterday And some cinnamon, cinnamon raisin toast. So good. But like, I'm feeling so tired right now. But I'm most likely going to have to work until 5 just to make up for lost time because I was like 30 minutes over my break, so. It is what it is. Actually, more like 45 minutes over my break. Anyway. just not having a great day today I don't know what's going on just gotten back home from work it was a good day kind of busy but good nonetheless y'all it is snowing out and really what should have been like a 10 12 minute drive was a hot 20 minutes people are like crawling <laughs> anyway but that's all good we've just had kind of like shit weather for like the last week last week it was like we were in the middle of we had like the polar vortex so it was like super cold it got down to like minus 48 
yeah it was cold um it got super cold but we have come out of that and i think we're gonna get a little bit of snow like a lot of snow i think about 10 centimeters tonight and probably tomorrow but then for the rest of the week i think it does the temperatures go back to kind of normal so yeah but man january was just like you thought you thought <laughs> Anyway, um, I've just received a super exciting package that I wanted to share with y'all. All right, so if y'all know me by now, y'all know that I love jewelry. Um, I am bedecked, like look at my ear situation. Like, come on now. I love jewelry. I'm never without my rings, case in point. Um, and it's really just like a very, I feel like it's not unique in like the grand scheme of things, but it feels like a unique part of my identity. At the end of 2023, when I was like doing my year end birthday reflection, one of the things that I really wanted to focus on in 2024 was authentic self-expression. My promise to myself this year is to express myself as authentically and creatively as possible, especially when it comes to fashion. And so really this promise to myself of authenticity is really a means to self-love, you know, if that makes sense, it's just to be true to myself and to always present a version of myself that, you know, really reflects my self-love. And so I'm super duper stoked and excited to be sharing a few pieces that I got I got sent uh, from Anna Luisa as an expression of self-love and also authentic self-expression. I feel like Anna Luisa jewelry um, elevates your everyday. They've got something for everyone with long-lasting, tarnish-resistant jewelry essentials that you not only look good in, but you can also kind of feel good about wearing. The brand is carbon neutral and climate neutral certified, offset in 100% of their carbon footprint. And honestly, that is just something that is really right up my alley. So again, they make jewelry that you not only look good wearing, but you feel good wearing. You know, feel you feel good that you're wearing them. And another plus, you, all these benefits and you still won't break the bank because they've got pieces for as low as $39 so they've really got something for everyone regardless of what your budget is. So I'll just share the pieces that I chose. So I chose these pieces because I feel like they just kind of scream me. Um, so we've got here this uh, Michelle ring with this green gemstone in the middle. If you know me, you know I like the color green. I've got another ring here. Um, and this is just like a nice stacking ring. And I also got two earrings. So this is also like a gemstone draw earring and it's kind of cute and dainty. And I feel like just with my, the way I curate my ears, it would, they just would look so beautiful. And then I've got this one as well. It's like a chunky, medium-sized hoop. Yeah, so I chose these pieces because they just scream me. They are bold, and with the way that I wear my jewelry personally and style them, I feel like they tell a story. You know, a story of a girl who loves herself and does not care what others think about the number of rings on her fingers, the number of piercings she's got in her ears. It's just, I think it just screams unapologetically, self-lovingly me. So go on ahead, go check out their website. If you end up buying anything, make sure to use my discount code and let me know what pieces you end up getting. And you can let me know down in the comment section below which of the pieces that I've shown here you actually like, you, you know you probably would end up getting yourself, but I just thought I would sit down and share a jewelry haul with you. Like this just makes me so stoked and I cannot wait to style them. So it's an unflattering angle. Um, but so I'm going to spend some time right now just editing this week's vlog, which by the time you all are watching this, it will be up. And then I will take a shower 
take a nice relaxing shower and really start my you know enjoy my evening routine i'm probably gonna make myself a burger and fries for dinner that sounds really delicious right now so i'll do that but yeah it's just like a nice cozy 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 day and i'm grateful that i don't have to be anywhere you know just just gotta be home So I got my, I've got my fries, Ooh, excuse the shiny forehead, hello. I've got my fries in the oven, uh, and so while I'm waiting for my fries to do its thing, I am going to sit and read um, the fifth book in the series. I already started it, and I'm almost 200 pages in. After A Court of Mist and Fury, this is my, this is like my second favorite, and y'all, I cannot wait, so... As of the time I'm recording this, the third book in the Crescent City series comes out like two weeks from now. And if you read the second book, you know how it ended. And I just don't even know what to expect. Like I can't like I can't breathe thinking about it. The day I get it, I already got like my delivery date notice from Amazon because I pre-ordered it. And January 30th cannot come fast enough. So that's, it's gonna be a good day. But in the meantime, I'm holding myself over by um, rereading. So this is the last one. I'm, apparently she's writing the sixth book right now. So hopefully we get an announcement for when the sixth book um, comes out. But it's a good series. <laughs> So I've just gotten back home from work. It is really snowing out and the roads are not great. So getting home took a little bit longer, but that's fine. I made it back home safely. I am going to make myself just got some chips. I'm gonna pour this into a bowl and snack on it because I'm kind of hungry but I still need to do some editing and I'm also going to just log back onto work real quick. Um, but, and, and I probably won't have dinner until about maybe six or so or 6.30. So that's still a bit of a ways away. So I just want a snack to hold me over. But yeah, so that's how we're, that's how we're doing right now. So let's make ourselves a just bowl of chips. And if I'm being honest, I think dinner might either be burgers and fries again or egg whites. Or egg bites. But I think I might just have enough energy to just make burger, a burger and fries. So, keep it simple.
Good morning, y'all. Happy Thursday. I'm heading out to the office right now, but I just wanted to do a quick fit check before I leave. So let's do that. So I've got like a on a simple outfit today. I've just got on this uh, V-neck sweater that I picked up from Ardeen. Skinny black jeans from Fashion Nova. And then I've got these boots. They're like a dark brown pair of boots and these are just from Shoe Dazzle. And because my outfit is so simple, I decided to pair it with like these kind of statement earrings. And I've also got a lipstick on, which I've been into lately. Some days I just can only just do lip balm, but lately I've just been really into wearing lipstick, so. But yeah, this is my simple, super simple, comfortable outfit of the day. It's super cold outside, and so it's comfort over anything else, but I think I still managed to make it look a little bit stylish, but yeah. Obviously, and what time is it? It's 5 35, 5 5.35, And I am just, just made myself a cup of tea. I've got a bunch of like work related stuff that I want to try and read some of tonight. So. I'm going to be spending some time reading that um, and then I'll probably make myself dinner at some point but I just wanted to just kind of come and chat for a bit because I don't I feel like I haven't really chatted with y'all like I haven't said much um, this week and honestly it's because this week has been so busy work-wise um, I've had a bunch of long planning meetings and while these planning meetings are like obviously part of my job and part of like the work I have to do, they do take up a bit of time away from other like immediate responsibilities. And so I find that I always have to spend some time, um, over time, uh, just catching up on all the other things I have to do. But anyway, that's beside the point. Point is yeah it's been a busy work week and so i haven't i've just been going to work coming back home trying to do like my normal nighttime routine and trying to go to bed early wake up at the gym and all of that but anyway i hope y'all are doing well i hope the new year is off to a great start for y'all um definitely is off to a good start for me uh, work buys, lots of stuff going on at work, lots of like good news and just taking on responsibilities and just being able to apply myself in so many different ways so really I'm feeling very appreciative of that and personal life wise it's been going well, dating has been going well, I've been going on dates, putting myself out there, obviously not going on dates like I'm not seeing anyone but I am seeing people you know I'm talking to people and going on dates and I think like toward the end of last year I, I just had like a complete like reframe of this entire dating process because I used to kind of begrudge it and just hate it and I've decided that you know what if I set my mind that you know dating is hard um why is it so hard to find the person and all of that jazz then it's just going to be exactly that it's going to be difficult and arduous and long and just entirely unpleasant and i was also finding myself like consuming like a lot of commentary on social media about how dating has gone to shit and um 
just all of just stuff that seemed to confirm what I was kind of seeing or experiencing but I decided to just sort of, sort of put away put all of that away and I have had a reframe of my mindset and so now I don't see I'm trying I'm choosing not to see dating as this difficult you know annoying thing and men are this and that and whatever the truth is some men are that what we feel like they are but not all of them are and if you focus on the fact that a man will treat you some type of way then you will attract the kind of man that's going to treat you some kind of way you will carry yourself in a way that just brings them around um and so i'm just reframing how i'm seeing dating to me dating is fun it gives me an opportunity to talk to interesting people to go out and meet interesting people um, try out new restaurants, bars, get dressed up, go on adventures if we choose, and just like go out and put myself out there and just do stuff, right? And um, not only do you get the chance to meet and talk to interesting people and just get into the minds of people and figure out and learn how to relate to other people, I've been learning a lot about myself in this whole process of dating and I feel like that is also in and of itself a useful thing it's it's a good outcome you know this entire dating process so I'm not choosing I've chosen to like do away with any kind of thing that you know seems to harp on the negative around dating the difficulty the difficulty around dating um, I mean this doesn't mean I'm delusional obviously I can kind of see what's going on and I'm careful about who I give you know who gets access to me but at the same time, I think you can create whatever world you want. You can create whatever reality you want. And the reality I want is one where, you know, it's effortless, it's easy, it's fun. And I think with that attitude, you just get to meet, eventually meet the right person. Because if it's fun and effortless and easy, you want to keep on doing more of it. And by doing more of it and being willing to meet more people, you will eventually find the one that one person that's how i choose to look at it um and again for me it's just a nice way because beyond work and maybe hanging out with friends sometimes i i really don't get to do a lot of other outside activities so dating is really also another chance for me to get out yeah and yeah and in general i feel like my life has been life has been going well this year really busy but um yeah it's just off to a great start and I'm entirely grateful and I can't complain. I hope the year is off to a great start for many of you or all of you that are watching and I hope it continues to be that way and whatever the situation I do believe that you know we'll be able to figure it out right. I'm kind of tired I don't know how much of this thing I'm going to be able to read because my concentration is probably going to be shocked but I will try and read for maybe maybe 30 minutes make myself some dinner and then journal and read all my novels and stuff but yeah that's it for now <laughs>
Um, I think it's a lot brighter. It's a lot brighter in here. It's a lot brighter in here, so let's 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 review that. So looking pretty grungy tonight. That's okay. I've got on this lace green top and over top I have on this leather shirt, which I will just keep on. I've got my black purse, black jeans, and these like very tight, skin tight, almost knee length um boots. And I'm also wearing my Ana Luisa jewelry tonight. Just kind of nice dainty piece matching with the green. And I've got my the ring that I got from them, both of them on, in addition to my other rings. I just took off the other ones I normally wear, just kind of balance everything out a little bit. But yeah. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog here before I head out. I think for once in a very long time, I'm actually going to be on time and I wanna keep it that way, okay? But thank you all so much for watching the vlog. I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to check out my discount code in the description box to Ana Luisa when you end up uh, shopping from there and let me know what pieces you end up picking up okay but yeah that's about it for now i will end the vlog here thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed and i will see you next time in another vlog i'm gonna go out and have a good friday night good wrap up to what was really a busy kind of crazy week mm -hmm.